Hey YouTube, this is Robonats1 here, and I'm here to do a review for Transformers Age of Extinction. I can't bring myself to hate this film. It's still very, very much a Michael Bay film, and the only difference with this film, I think, is the fact that, um, the main um, human family that we follow is a lot better than the Sam Witwicky character from the previous from the previous three three movies. Mark Wahlberg played such an excellent um, character in this movie. Um, I really liked his interaction w with his daughter and how he cared about his daughter, um, how he was trying to do his best for his family. And, um, I really, really liked that. I, um, I liked how in this film, Mark Wahlberg sort of fell into the role of being a leader. Because um, Sam Witwicky was never a leader, whereas this character is a leader. I also thought um, Mark Wahlberg's interactions with Optimus Prime were very, very good. Um, and arguably, I actually think Mark Wahlberg proved to be a better leader than Optimus Prime. Um, I also thought the, um, the whole government hunting down the, the Autobots and the Transformers was a really interesting idea as well. And, um, how the previous movies fit into the continue into this movie were really intriguing. My only real problem with this film was the Transformers and none of the Transformers were actually really interesting. Um, I did like um, the design of one of the, the Autobots though. Um, I think his name's... He's the guy in green. Um, I really liked the I really liked the look of that character, um, but with the Transformers themselves this time around, they weren't really interesting. Um, and I do actually have to say, at least in the in the in the previous films, at least the Transformers were somewhat interesting. Um, this group of Transformers were not really, well, they weren't really, um, good Transformers, and I think, unfortunately, the Transformers seem to suffer from what the X-Men films sometimes suffer from, is they just use all the characters they possibly can. And they don't really serve any real purpose to the films. Another problem that I had was Optimus Prime. Um, Optimus is really, really angry in this film. And it's... You, you can sort of understand why he's angry. Um, because his race is being hunted down to extinction, but he was just really angry and, like, there were even parts where he was killing humans, which I don't think Optimus Prime would do, and it just, it really, really created a really strange character that didn't really feel like Optimus Prime. Although I like where they're going with Optimus 
Prime's character, because um, at, because at the end of the film, um, I also liked Lockdown. He was a really interesting villain, and for a change, it wasn't Negatron as the major villain, although Negatron does appear in his Galvatron form. Um, he doesn't really play a major role. Actually, I argue that Galvatron could have been cut out of the film entirely and exchanged to the darker version of Optimus Prime. I think that would have been really, really interesting as well if they had gone the black version of Optimus Prime as opposed to the Galvatron. Um, route. Um, so Lockdown was brilliant. The human villains as well were really good as well. I really, really liked the the human villains in the story. And as this as this franchise is all about the human characters, it's nice that some of the human characters are actually doing something. The film is okay. It's exactly what you have come to expect from a Michael Bay movie. Um, and for the most part, I liked it. Um, I don't think we're ever going to have a Transformers film that is sort of... I don't think you can make a Transformers movie um, that could be any worse than this. Um, there obviously are ways of making the film better, but for what it was, it was good, I guess. Um, so a lukewarm recommendation. Um, another complaint that I have is the, this is a long film. This was about two hours two hours and a half long. That is a long time for a film. And um, I think, you know, I think a lot of people, certainly in my cinema, I think we're getting a bit bored. So, um, yeah, cause again, two hours and 30 minutes is a long time to sit in a dark screen. Um, if you've seen all the other Transformers movies and you liked them, then this is about the same. If not, don't worry too much about it. Um, the next film I'll be going to go see is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, so stay tuned for that.